How to create a stateful alert dialog in Flutter and update the dialog UI by calling the set state inside of your dialogs. Let's start with an elevated button that you see here on the right side. And if we click on this button, then we want to call a method open dialog, where we call then the show dialog method from the Flutter SDK. Within the builder, we create then our alert dialog and you can, for example, create a title. And within the actions, you can create a button submit. And finally, within the content property, we want to create a stateful widget, in this case, a checkbox. So our checkbox has a state, which is basically this is checked state that I have created here at the top. And now normally inside of your stateful widget, in this case, the checkbox, you want to call the set state to update your UI. Let's try it out. I open the dialog and I click on this button. However, you see that the state is not changing. Therefore, it is important to understand that the set state method is basically updating only the build method. So everything which you put here inside is updated. However, in our case, we open here a new dialog and this is not connected to the build method. Instead, we have here a separate builder. So if you want to update also here anything inside of your alert dialog, then you need to wrap this widget inside of a stateful builder. And with this, you get here access of this set state inside of this builder property. And with this, we are using here this set state if we are now updating here our checkbox. Make sure to click on hot restart and open up your dialog again. And with this, I can click here on this checkbox and you see we have a stateful widget inside of our dialog. Let's also look at some important special cases. Therefore, we want to wrap our elevated button inside of a column. And on top of the button, we want to display then here another checkbox. And the checkbox has then basically the value is checked that we have stored inside of our state. So all in all, we use the isCheck boolean field for two different places. First of all, for our normal regular build method and secondly, for our dialog. And the problem right now is if I change here the field inside of this dialog and click on submit, then you see that this value is not updating even if our dialog is using here the same boolean field as our normal build method. So it is important to understand that within our alert dialog, we call the set state. And the set state is only updating here the dialog UI and not the UI inside of our build method. Therefore, if we click here on the submit button, then we are going basically here inside of this text button. So here is the submit button and we call the navigator pop to hide here this dialog. So let's wait until this dialog was closed. Therefore, we go here up to the method where we have opened our dialog and we can await until this dialog is closed. And everything after it, we call then if the dialog was closed. So in this case, we want to update the normal UI. So this time the set state is then updating the normal build method and not the dialog anymore. Let's also try it out. I update the UI inside of this dialog. And when we click on the submit button, also the normal UI inside of our build method is updated. Alternatively, within the alert dialogs checkbox, if you change the checkbox, then we are currently calling the set state to update only the alert dialog UI. However, you can also call here then this set state and this will then also update the build method. Let's also try it out. As soon as I change here the state inside the dialog, then you see that the background is also updating and this is then also working fine because we have now called here this set state. Next to wrapping a stateful builder around your alert dialog to update this dialog, you could create instead a dialog widget where you implement then this alert dialog because here inside you have then a different build method and here you can then also call the set state to update here the UI within your dialog instead. It is important to notice in case you use a separate stateful widget for your dialog, then you shouldn't put the state of your dialog inside of this widget. So if I open the dialog and then I change here the state and submit it, then you see, okay, it is changing here outside because I have implemented a callback. However, if I open the dialog again, then you see that here we have the wrong state. And this is because every time if you call then this new dialog, then he will create a new instance of this dialog. And with this also, the state will be every time false again. 
Instead, if you use this approach, it is important that you put then the state inside from the outside. So basically we handle the state outside of this widget. So we use here then the same state that we have also used here at the top in our state. And by the way, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.